This is Chris with Perkins Motorplex in Paducah, Kentucky. Today we're looking at stock number 413647, 2014 Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, does have one key fob only, no remote start. Look around the truck, we'll point out a few things on it. Just notice it does have a cracked fog light. Does have some condensation in that headlight. It's got a really good set of all-terrain tires on it. Got a rust spot there right above the Hemi logo. That is a strange spot. Not sure how that happened, but it is there. Uh, it does have tinted windows. Not seeing any dings really on the doors, but if you can look down the side of the bed, there are several dings down the top of the bedside on it. Not terrible from a distance, but they are there. I want you to know they're there. Uh, there is your left rear tire, again, in good shape. Wheels appear to be in decent shape on it. Does have your plastic bed liner. Power back glass on it, sliding. Coming around the back, looks like we got a scratch on the tailgate. A few little minor wear across the top on the plastic. A few scratches there along the, along the top of the tailgate. Back bumper looks to be in good shape. Dent it up, does have a towing package on it. Come around the passenger side. Again, it's got some little dings down the side, top of the bedside. Looks like somebody probably worked out of it. There's a dent right in there. I'm not sure if you can see it, little ding. There's your right rear tire. Looks great. Another little scratch right there. see anything in the passenger rear door but there is a ding right there in the passenger front door a spot right there where the paints come off front tire the tires look to be equally worn and in good shape on it passenger headlights in good shape passenger fog lights in good shape hood and all looks good on it Front bumper, I'm not seeing any chrome flaking or anything like that. It looks to be in pretty good shape. We'll take a look inside. Oh, there's one I miss. There's a ding in that driver's door right there. All right, door panel looks good, but we do have some wear on the driver's seat. There's a tear there. Could probably be sewed up. Dash and all looks good on it. Got the uh, nice WeatherTech all-weather mats. Does have a power driver's seat. Take a look in the back. The door panel looks good. Got your all-weather mats back here. Also, back seat looks really good on it. In good shape. Headliner looks good. We'll come around the passenger side. Again, looks good. Looks great on the passenger side in the back. Apparently didn't have a lot of people riding in the back of it. Look at the passenger front. And not a power seat on this side, but it looks to be in good shape. There's your door panels in good shape. And the dash looks really good on it. it does have the larger screen, turn button, uh, gear shifter, and the passenger seat looks really good on it. All right, now we'll just crank it up and take a look under the hood. All right, let's take a look at the instrument panel. There we go, 166, 731 miles. lights other than the doors open. Everything looks good on it. I do hear that ram tick. Pop, got to pop the hood. I'm sure that's an exhaust tick. Probably will go away after it warms up. First cranked up the had it. Really good under the hood. 
tick now, so hopefully it went away right. That's the little spot, there's a little rust spot right there on the top of the hood of all places. But there we have it. It's a good looking truck for all the miles it's got on it. And uh, if there's anything I missed, you got any other questions, let me know. You can call me back at 270-408-5554. And I hope this helps in your buying decision. Thank you.